With the advent of social media, much of what we used to call our private life has become a little bit more public. With vacay pics, dumb jokes, and our personal relationships on blast, one's gotta ask, who is it all for? Are we always putting on an act for some sort of audience? Let's break it down. In 1959, a sociologist by the name of Irving Goffman posited a theory of interpersonal interaction called dramaturgy. Dramaturgy uses the metaphor of theater to explain human behavior, performing actions and interactions as if we were all acting in a play. Goffman thought that every aspect of life could be defined in roles, such as mother, father, friend, space jam enthusiast, you name it. While we performed our roles, people also had their own roles in interacting to our individual actions. So, when we're out in public with other people, Goffman would think that we were doing scenes where we would interact with everyone and everything we came in contact with. For example, I treated college like eight seasons of a TV show. There's always people coming in and out of my life, like guest stars. There were serious episodes and always romantic will days and won't days between all of my friends. In a time before Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, people had to come over to your mom's crib if they wanted to see your throwback Thursday pics. Today, People use social media as an archive of sorts to showcase the best parts of their lives for all to see. What used to be backstage, or the time that we spent privately, has become more public, depending on how much you use social media. So why is it bad, as people and not actors, to keep putting on this act like everything is great? Answer? Psychosocial stress. Psychosocial stress is psycho for psychological, social for society, and stress, well, you know what that is. It is our mental perception of social threats in our lives, whether they be real or imaginary. For example, threats to our social status, to our self-esteem, feeling accepted or unaccepted within a group, or perceiving that something's out of our personal control. On social media, we cultivate avatars of our real life selves, keeping our more vulnerable sides hidden. Not only that, but we judge our own progress based on our peers' progress, often using social media as that litmus test. Think about the last time you took an L. Wait. Taking an L, state of being. Taking a loss when making a mistake. See Meek Mill, Drake B. Cool. Think about the last time you took an L in public and no one was there to witness it. You could bounce back easily because no one was there to see it. Now, think about the last time you took an L in public and everybody saw it and everybody formed their own opinion about it. You get mad, embarrassed, thoughts are racing back and forth in your head, your heart rate increases, spreading hormones like adrenaline and cortisol all throughout your body. And at that very moment, you're at peak psychosocial stress. All those hormones in high concentrations are bad for your body. Increased episodes like that can lead to anxiety and heart disease, and it gets worse. Psychosocial stress occurs even if nothing's actually happening, but we perceive that something is wrong based on the way that people are talking about us or looking at us. It could occur when you walk into work or school. Questions like, why did this post not get enough likes? And why did he like her post and not mine? Can have effects on the way that we feel that we're perceived by our peers. Taking time off and spending it backstage privately is so important. And we need to do it because we're not often thinking about the long-term effects of what we're doing to our minds and our bodies. So, how do we fix this? Easy answer, take time for social media. Surround yourself with drama-free, supportive friends who won't add stress to your already short existence on this planet. The hard answer? Develop long-lasting strategies to help temper your stress. Therapy can increase your backstage time exponentially. And remember, you're not alone in combating stress. People all around the world have their stressors and should cope with them, hopefully in a healthy way. Even I have to remind myself that it's not about the likes and retweets that I obsess over. It's not that serious. Actors delve deep into the emotional psyches of the characters that they play. Now imagine playing a caricature of yourself for your entire life. To put it theatrically, all the world's a stage. All the men and women, merely players, they have their exits and their entrances. And no one has time to care what random people on the internet think.